Then Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, which is opposite Jericho. And the Lord showed him the whole land, Gilead as far as Dan, all of Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah as far as the western sea, the Negeb and the plain, that is, the valley of Jericho, and the city of palm trees, as far as Zor. The Lord said to him, This is the land of which I swore to Abraham, to Isaac and to Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I've let you see it with your eyes, but you shall not cross over there. Then Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab at the Lord's command. He was buried in the valley in the land of Moab, opposite Beth Peor, but no one knows of his burial place to this day. Moses was 120 years old when he died. His sight was unimpaired and his vigour had not abated. The Israelites wept for Moses in the plains of Moab for 30 days. Then the period of mourning for Moses was ended. Joshua, son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom because Moses had laid his hands on him and the Israelites obeyed him, doing as the Lord had commanded Moses. Amen. And may God bless this reading from his holy word. Seeing the future, but not allowed to touch it, so that it must live within your imagination. In such a place, Moses found himself, having reached Mount Nebo, the whole promise of God stretching out before him, beyond daring, a delicious treat, never to own. Yet, such a view is the view faith offers. Mountainsides stretch the distance, but to get there, you descend and travel. May we, with eyes of faith, travel in the long promise of God, with story and imagination, trusting we journey within the promise carried from one generation to the next honouring each other in the passing. Good and gracious God, we have climbed and have reached the top. We have set out and have arrived we have aimed and have hit our targets. When all goes well, when the sun is high, we praise you. And then at other times, we have set out but got lost. We've put our boots on the hillside but have run out of energy and have had to turn back, disappointed a feeling of failure dampening our spirits when it doesn't work out, when the sun is hidden. Still, we praise you. Sometimes we get to look, but not to touch. Sometimes we get to walk, but only in the valleys the high places denied to us. Sometimes we reach summit cairns, but find that the mist obscures our view entirely. Sometimes we see everything, and yet find that it is not ours to have. A promised land that will be for others, but for us, only a distant horizon. 
when certain of your promises remain for us unfulfilled. Still, we praise you. Go then in the strength of the Lord, in paths he has marked for your feet. Follow the light of his word. Shrink not from the dangers you meet. His presence your steps shall attend. His fullness your wants shall supply. On him till your journey shall end. Unwavering faith shall rely. Amen. <laughs>